In our third and final broadcast of the three-part series expose about the entrenched rot at the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority, in our previous two series, the informer has uncovered the apparent conflict of interest in recruitment of the current chief executive officer who chaired the Human Resource Board Committee that planned and developed terms of reference for recruitment of a new CEO less than a month before the jinxed-like position was advertised. In our second broadcast, our investigations and our administrative flaws by CEO Terry Ramadhani Kyunge, ranging from insubordination of the former Ministry of Health Principal Secretary Susan Mochache and former Chief of Staff and Head of Public Service Joseph Kinyua on staffing, redeployment and hiring guidelines during the transition period. And in our final expose, we bring to you the controversial tendering and procurement flaws, questionable payments including close to 1 billion shillings payouts for COVID-19 supplies made between June and mid-October last year and alleged appropriation of 2 billion shillings recapitalization kitty from World Bank to settle contractual payments that has left the authority cash strapped. Despite the 8.3 billion shillings cancer probe on COVID-19 supplies during the height of the pandemic outbreak in 2020 and 2021 by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, having stalled after the director of the public prosecutions, Nuruddin Haji returned the investigation files to his ESCC counterpart, Twalim Barak. For further investigations, our investigations established that CAMSA paid an additional 908 million on COVID-19 related items between June and mid-October last year. Some of the companies paid were adversely mentioned in the initial CAMSA heist that attracted multi-pronged investigations by the National Assembly and Senate Health Committees alongside the National Assembly Public Investments Committee and the ESCC respectively in 2020. At the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, the physical investigations files allegedly disappeared mysteriously. According to records in our possession, Shop N by Limited, one of the firms that elicited national public outrage for receiving 970 million shillings for supplying PPEs to Kamsa in the initial haste probe last year in July and September, the same farm was paid an additional 499 million shillings. Records show the money was paid in three equal tranches of 166,250,000 shillings each on July 8th, July 27th and September 7th, 2022 respectively. The three payments in favor of Shop N by Limited were made via order number 832219, number 832252 and number 832223. During the 2021 Parliamentary Committee probe hearings, Shop N by Limited owner James Chalule confessed that he registered the farm on February 14, 2020 and was awarded a lucrative tender a day after he sought to supply the government agency with the medical equipment. Similarly, La Miguela Holdings Limited, which was also implicated in 180 million shillings payment in the stalled investigations, was paid a total of 90 million shillings in three tranches of similar amount of 30 million shillings each on July 27th, July 8th and September 30th, 2022. Appearing before the National Assembly's Public Investment Committee probing the expenditure of money in the purchase of the COVID-related equipment in 2020, La Miguela Holdings Limited Director James Njuguna told the committee that he was an innocent passerby who landed a 180 million shillings tender for the supply of personal protective equipment. Others that received payments last year for supplying COVID-19 related items include Medilife Biologicals Limited, 110 million shillings, Triple A's Investment Limited, 25 million shillings, and Abyssinia Group of Industries, 18 million shillings. Other multiple companies were flagged as having been part of the infamous COVID-19 billionaires. However, up to date, no supplier has ever been charged over what is believed to have been a well-orchestrated looting. At the time, sacked Kemsa boss Dr. Jonah Manjari was serving as the CEO. Among other irregular procurement flaws cited under Ramadani's tenure include payment of 8 million shillings to a single-sourced law firm not included in the list of authorities' legal services providers and single-sourcing of JQuart Human Resource and Board Secretariat Services paid 1.5 million shillings monthly. The Informer Media Group is committed to uncover more when told stories. Stay tuned. Reporting for the Informer, Catherine Chalo, uncovering the truth.